Yeah, uh, my name's Gareth Williams, I'm a catchment coordinator uh, at the Environment Agency. I look after the Ada and Ouse and the Aran and Western streams. I've been working in kind of natural flood management for a few years now. It's quite a hot topic at the moment. Uh, it's the first thing that gets considered now when we're looking at a, a flood defence project moving forward, uh, which is quite exciting, quite exciting times at the moment. We've got a lot of people um, working behind the scenes on uh, working with natural processes. Um, we've just created uh, some opportunity maps that are going to be available to partners soon uh, listing what interventions can be installed where and when. So we did a project called Trees on the River Uck. So it was looking at um, planting trees, uh, installing natural flood management interventions in order to slow, store and filter water essentially to hold back that water from getting into the rivers and being conveyed to at-risk areas downstream. Uh, that's evolved into the Sussex Flow Initiative so we've been doing that for a couple of years now. So essentially that's picking up that, that Trees on the River Up project and moving it to any catchment in Sussex. Uh, and hopefully we can start to progress that forward now. So here we are on the floodplain at Buxted, um, where we're adding small clumps of trees to uh, increase roughness on the floodplain. And basically that means that as the water passes through here, it will just take longer to pass through the trees than it would if they weren't here. Um, and this is part of a lot of planting that we've been doing in the local area. Um, from here I can see various other hedgerows and bits of woodland that we've planted. Um, and the idea is, is that we're helping to buffer the road to reduce the amount of input coming through um, so that when it floods the water flows through the bridge and everything else is slowed down. So some of the planting we've done here is also going to help reduce pollutants getting into the river um, by creating a bit of a buffer. So anything from uphill will have to pass through the woodland or through the hedgerow uh, before it actually gets to the river. So we're hoping that um, in terms of agricultural inputs and road inputs around here that this may really help. <laughs> 